and that surprised me. Uh, <clears throat> so I said, well, where's the research that supports this? But the people that I was talking to were not researchers, they were people in childhood education. And they said, look, surely there is some, but we, you know, we don't, aren't aware of it. So I went and tracked it down. And it turns out in the last 25 years, there's been significant research uh, in early education and how the brain develops. And it turns out in the first two years of a child's life, the brain learns how to learn. And if that it is done well, then when they get in kindergarten or elementary school, they'll outperform the other students significantly. And other, other people have done research um, is if you make an investment in stabilizing the environment in an inner city for a group of children, and then you look at them 25 years later and compare them with another group, what's the difference? And it turns out there's significant, uh, uh, significant differences. There's fewer mental problems, uh, higher educational levels, uh, higher salary, and if you calculate the return on investment, it's significant. Uh, so it strikes me the most important thing to do in, in, the, in the U.S. Uh, is to get the government to fund uh, free child care, early child care, and stabilize the environment for all children. And uh, in fact, uh, Congress asked the National Academy uh, to do a study of all the programs that have been put in place and figure out which worked and which didn't. And their report came out a couple months ago, um, and they're proposing a $50 billion a year project. Um, but one comment is no politician is going to put something in place where the return is not going to be apparent for 25 years. They want something that within two, before the next election. <laughs> uh, so I, I thought what I would do is try to develop uh, well, well, first of all, I was totally unaware of this. And so I suspect that most people in our country are totally unaware. And it's going to be very hard to get early childhood funded. Although there was one attempt, uh, Alameda County, which is where Berkeley is, is located, and is probably the most liberal county in the U.S., uh, they put it on their ballot uh, this year. And, but to fund it, they had to raise sales tax. And so they had to get a 67% vote rather than a 50%. I, I thought they would get 30%. <laughs> uh, but it turns out they got 60, 66.4, I think. Right. They were 1,400 votes short. So it's not impossible that, uh, and so I've started to, first I started to, to figure out how to get this information out. Uh, and much of the research is done, was done by our National Academy. Uh, so I contacted the president of our National Academy of Engineering and told him, look, you've done world-class research and that it's excellent, but your uh, marketing, uh, you're getting this out to the general population, you failed. And, and he agreed with me. He says, that's what I've got to focus on in the next few years. Um, I started to talk to authors that would write, say, for the Atlantic Monthly or something. And uh, they said they get one to two dollars per word, and a typical article is about 5,000 words. So they get somewhere between five and ten thousand uh, dollars. But when I tried to get them to write an article, the first thing they said is, look, we would have to, first of all, do the research and make sure it's right. And we'd have to develop connections to get information. And we don't even know the article's going to be public, published. So I was thinking then, I said, look, what if, what if I got a foundation to provide funding, It'd give you $10,000 to write the article. If you get it published, you do even better. And they told me, and I think they're right, they said, John, that's the wrong strategy. Um, the people who read the Atlantic Monthly aren't the people that you're going to have to educate. Uh, the people you're going to have to get on board, you're going to have to get on the web and uh, social media and things like that. So what I, what I realize is important is we have to have a marketing plan. I mean, when Apple comes out with a cell phone, um, they develop a market for it before it's even released. Or if a new movie comes out. Uh, right. And so we've got to learn how to do marketing and 
Uh, so it turns out that it, in Cornell, the business school teaches a course each year uh, on how to develop a strategic plan, and the students develop one. And I, t I told the person involved, I said, look, uh, if you do a plan for a product or a company, the students will look at what was done in previous years and change it a little, and that's what you'll get. Why don't you this year do it for an idea? And they asked what idea, and I said, early childhood. And they're actually going to do it. So I will get a marketing plan as to how to change the educational level of our country with regard to early childhood. I mean, th there's lots of things you can do. For example, uh, in the state of California, uh, in the government, there's an office that approves the books that a school can purchase for elementary education. Why not get them to put in a requirement that there's got to be some material on how important early childhood is? Mm -hmm.